everybody. Welcome to another episode of What's in the Box. And today in on What's in the Box, we've got something very special. We always try to have something very special, right? But before we get to our thing that's in the box this week, let's talk about what was in the box last week. And last week's What's in the Box looked like this. All right, I always give you one more chance to look at it. Okay, it's glass. It's kind of heavy. It's got an inside. There's some little um, rings in the inside. Look like threads that you would screw something on. So, now it's time for me to tell you what this is. And this is something that you would see all over the United States. Um, from about eight, the 1840s till the late 1960s and then they stopped using them but these are called insulators glass insulators and they used them first on telegraph wires on telegraph lines and then they used them on uh, telephone lines and electrical lines and what they would do is the wire that was traveling from place to place on top of the, the poles would wrap around this and that's what would keep the electricity flowing through the line okay and um a lot of times, you know, they'd have storms or whatever. These would fall off, get broken, um, and they'd have to climb up on the poles and replace them. Now, a lot of people collect these nowadays. They come in all different colors, different shapes. This one just happens to look like this, but there are all kinds of different shapes. And it's really a very interesting um, hobby to collect these glass insulators. And they're not very expensive. Now, some of them are rare and can be really expensive, but like this one, wasn't very much. I found it at a flea market and it was like six or seven dollars. Um, so they're really fun to collect and a lot of people really get a lot of a lot of joy out of, of finding them. Now when I was growing up you could still find them on the side of the road. You know if a, there was if they had gone through and replaced uh, the light poles with newer versions of, of light poles and putting the new wires up they just lay the pole down and the insulators would be on the poles and people could would go by down the road and get them you know pick them up and get them and my um my dad actually did that one time brought one of them home uh the one he brought home looked just like this except it was a really pretty blue aqua color um and they come in all colors so um i still have that one um at home that i keep um you know just kind of as a memento of growing up so uh but I, this that one and this one are the only two that I have but it would be something that I might think about collecting if I had a, a place to put them I think it's an interesting thing um, I included some information uh, some websites for you to go to because I really think this is something you'd enjoy researching and looking at if you haven't already um, in trying to figure out what it was but there's a really interesting YouTube video that's not very long at all um, won't take you five or six minutes to watch it but um, it shows you some pictures of some old Alabama power and old telephone guys up on the the poles the way they used to be the crisscrossed um, poles and shows shows you how the insulators worked and how they were lined up and how they screwed on the the little wooden uh, cork thing and all this stuff so um, it's the if you'll go to the YouTube and look up a uh, barn doggler barn d o g g l e r bite of history the glass insulator um, look at that one because that one was interesting and it was short and it was informative and had a lot of good pictures so so anyway I encourage you to do that it was a really interesting item and something that I think you'll enjoy learning more about okay all right now let's get to this week I'm so excited to show you this <gasps> what is that Miss April I know what that is it's a bathtub for a mouse. It could be, couldn't it? A little mouse could just lay down in there, take a little bath. Looks just like maybe there was a shower head right here. Spray down on him, run the little shower hose up. Well, that's not what it is. But that's what I imagine, because that's what it looks like to me. When you sit it down, it sits down on its little legs, and it looks like a little bathtub that a little mouse would take a bath in. But the only thing wrong with that is, look, it's got holes in the bottom. Yeah, so I don't think it would hold any water, do you? So let's take a closer look. All right, it does have legs on it, so you can sit it down somewhere. Like you 
can sit it down on the counter, okay? It does have this handle type thing right here, so that's very interesting. And it does have a, a unique shape, okay? Kind of like a spoon, but it has those holes in it. And the legs, you know, I've never seen a spoon with legs, so I don't know. What do you think this might be? Um, I will give you a hint that it was used a lot in the 1940s. That This one actually came from the 1940s. It was used then. Um, but you could use them now, too, you know. And they were certainly, certainly much older. Um, when I was researching this, when I first found it, um, there were some back from Queen Victoria's time. So, um, they're, they're, you know, they're old. But this particular one is from the 1940s. So, I'm going to give you a good look all the way around doesn't really look any different on one side than it does the other and then the bottom of it and of course the inside okay all right so now it's up to you figure out what it is figure out what it's for okay um, I think you'll have a good time researching it and figuring it out I think you will um, it may not be as fun as the insulator because that one really was fun. Maybe it's just me, but I think it's fun. But this one is very fun. So go ahead and start looking. Start trying to figure out what's in the box this time. And I will tell you the next time. All right? Okay. So that was easy, wasn't it? Yeah, we're going to go on now and move on to something else. Uh, next week, I'm going to be searching. I'm kind of running out of things, so I'm going to have to take a trip to the flea market this weekend and see what I can find and see if I can find some antique things to pick up and show you on what's in the box. All right, so look forward to next time. I'll have something completely brand new, and I hope I'll stump you. Okay? All right. This is Miss April signing out for what's in the box and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.